The Sun is our star and the center of our solar system. It is about 4.6 billion years old and has approximately 5 billion years of life left. With a diameter of about 1.39 million kilometers, the Sun is around 109 times larger than Earth. The Sun accounts for about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. The gravitational force of the Sun is enormous. It is so strong that it attracts the planets and other objects in the solar system and keeps them in their orbits. The average density of the Sun is about 1.4 grams per cubic centimeter. This is a very low density compared to Earth, as the Sun consists mostly of gases. The Sun rotates once on its own axis about every 25 to 35 days. The rotation speed at the equator region is higher than at the poles. The Sun is the closest star to Earth and plays a crucial role in supporting life on our planet. With its enormous mass, density, and brightness, it will continue to fascinate us and help us learn more about our solar system and the universe. Structure The Sun consists of several layers. Core, about 150,000 kilometers in size has a density of about 150 grams per cubic centimeter and is the location where nuclear fusion takes place. Nuclear fusion reactions take place here, converting hydrogen into helium. Radiative zone, extends from the surface of the core to a depth of about 70% of the solar radius and transports energy in the form of radiation. Convective zone, begins just beneath the surface and extends to about 200,000 kilometers outward. Energy is transported through convection in the form of gas currents. Photosphere, the outermost layer of the Sun, with a thickness of about 500 kilometers and a temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius. As the density of the material decreases with temperature, it eventually becomes transparent and the photons can escape almost unimpeded to the outside. Chromosphere is a layer of the Sun that lies between the photosphere and the corona. It is an important aspect of the Sun, as it absorbs radiation and channels energy into the corona, which drives solar winds. It has also been found to host some of the hottest places in our solar system, with temperatures up to 20,000 Kelvin. It is also an important factor in studying solar activity and predicting solar storms. Corona, the outermost layer of the Sun, which becomes visible during a solar eclipse and has a temperature of several million degrees Celsius. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles continuously flowing away from the Sun in all directions. It consists of free electrons and atomic nuclei and is a component of the interplanetary medium and cosmic radiation. The speed of the solar wind varies depending on solar activity and can affect Earth. The solar wind can have an impact on Earth's magnetic field and lead to geomagnetic storms, which can have effects on satellites, power grids, and other technical systems. The solar wind is also an important factor in the study of space and the solar system. The sun shines with a color temperature of about 5,800 Kelvin. The peak of the sun's radiation is in the visible light, and humans perceive this radiation with their eyes as pure white. Aliosphere and Aliopause the aliosphere is the region where the influence of the Sun on the surrounding interstellar medium is still noticeable. It is formed by the particles of the solar wind and the magnetic field of the Sun and extends to a distance of about 100 astronomical units AU, from the Sun. One astronomical unit corresponds to the average distance of Earth from the Sun. The aliopause is the boundary between the aliosphere and the interstellar medium. There, the solar wind meets the interstellar medium and is stopped by it. The aliopause is located at a distance of about 123 astronomical units from the Sun and forms the outermost boundary of the Sun's sphere of influence. Voyager 1 is a NASA spacecraft launched in 1977. It crossed the aliopause on August 25, 2012, becoming the first human-made object to reach interstellar space. Voyager 1 is now about 22.7 billion kilometers away from the Sun. The Sun can be observed during the day when it is visible in the sky. However, it is important to take appropriate protective measures to avoid eye damage. Directly viewing the Sun can cause permanent eye damage. Instead, 
a special solar eclipse glasses or a telescope with a special solar filter should be used. The sun can also be observed during sunrise or sunset when it is near the horizon. The sun often appears reddish at the horizon because sunlight must pass through a larger amount of atmosphere before it reaches our eyes. The Earth's atmosphere contains dust particles, water vapor, and other impurities that scatter sunlight and absorb certain colors of light. Blue light has a shorter wavelength than red light and is therefore more scattered, causing it to spread in all directions in the atmosphere. This effect is called Rayleigh scattering and is also responsible for the color of the sky. The Sun is the star around which Earth and the other planets of our solar system revolve. It is about 4.6 billion years old and has a diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers. The Sun consists mainly of hydrogen and helium and produces energy through nuclear fusion. The evolution of the Sun can be divided into several phases. The first phase was the formation of the Sun from a giant cloud of dust about 4.6 billion years ago. The cloud collapsed under its own gravity and formed a rotating disk with a hot core in the center. The second phase was the onset of nuclear fusion inside the Sun's interior after several tens of millions of years. Hydrogen atoms fused to form helium atoms, releasing energy. The Sun achieved a balance between outward radiation pressure and inward gravitational pressure. The third phase is the main sequence stage, which is where the Sun is currently located. It moves along the main sequence in the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, which shows the relationship between the luminosity and temperature of stars. The fourth phase will be the red giant stage, which will begin in about 6 billion years. Then the sun will have exhausted its hydrogen fuel in the core and will swell into a red giant. Its surface will cool, but its luminosity will increase. It may swallow or destroy some of its inner planets. The fifth phase will be the white dwarf stage, which will follow the shedding of the sun's outer layers. Then the sun will shrink into a white dwarf, a small, hot star made of carbon and oxygen with a high density. It will no longer be able to generate energy and will slowly cool down. Cosmic Environment The cosmic environment of the sun is the space where the sun and its neighboring stars are located. The Sun is part of the Milky Way, a spiral galaxy with about 200 billion stars. It is located about 26,000 light-years from the galactic center and orbits it at a speed of about 220 kilometers per second. The nearest stars to the Sun are Proxima Centauri, 4.2 light-years, Alpha Centauri A and B, 4.3 light-years, and Barnard's star, 5.9 light-years. There are also some brown dwarfs near the sun that shine too weakly to be seen with the naked eye. Exploration To better explore the sun, scientists use various instruments such as telescopes, satellites, and probes. A current mission to study the sun is the Solar Orbiter, a joint initiative of the ESA and NASA. The Solar Orbiter will observe the sun from a distance of about 42 million kilometers and also photograph its poles. In addition, the Solar Orbiter will study the heliosphere, the region around the Sun shaped by the solar wind. Cultural History The Sun has been worshipped as a deity in many earlier cultures. The Sun was and is an important symbol and serves as the basis for creating calendars. Important events were foretold by observing the Sun and other stars. The Sun is the natural clock of humans through Earth's rotation, and the observation of daily movements of shadows led to the development of the sundial. Thank you for watching our video about the Sun. We hope you enjoyed learning about our closest star and the impact it has on our world. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the universe.